Hi, my name is Christopher O'Dell. I'm the director of the next play you're about to see, known as The Interviewer. People have been asking me if I actually wrote this play, and I'm pretty sure I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> this play was actually written by Octave Mirbo. It's a French play, and it was translated by Walter White. This play only has three actors. Um, I was very precise in who I picked, and I ran them through rigorous tests, through auditions and callbacks. They turned out to be human. Um, <laughs> these actors put a lot of work into this, and they just brought this fantastic chemistry to the play, and we would just enjoy it working with. So please enjoy this next performance of The Interviewer. <laughs> Now, talk! So, 
Sorry, what? What? Talk. I don't even know who I'm talking to. Hi, it's the interviewer in chief of the movement. The what? The interviewer in chief of the movement. Ah. Uh, You've never heard of the movement? It's the, the, the literary journal, the, the newspaper, best renowned, most widely, 12 million readers, providing for its subscribers the newest cars, best country houses, government bonds, well trained mistresses. Do you understand now? Ah, uh, yes. Oh, yes. I, I apologize. I'm oh, oh, oh. I'm in a bit of a hurry. I must interview the the Prime Minister of Education at ten and the, the King of Belgium at noon. Please answer each question as clearly and concisely as possible. First up here. Here, here. Ah, oh, yes. Oh. Um. So oh. is the moment psychological. Moment of truth. Um, perhaps I want a house? So, you are a wine merchant? Uh, look around. It would seem so. An unsavory profession of sorts, dealing with drunkenness, debauchery, alcoholism, degeneration, depopulation, socialism! All poisons, and in the end, you will destroy us all, no? What are you saying? So, you are a wine merchant. Sure. And your name is? Chateau. Of course, Joseph. You know Be careful how you answer this. This is very serious, excessively severe. <coughs> of course, I am Chateau, like my father. Very good. And uh, you've lived for a long time on bad terms with your wife? With my wife? Yes, my God. <laughs> I'm not married. <sighs> Cohabitation. Perfect. Worse and worse. So you live on bad terms with your mistress then? What? My mistress? Yes, of course! <laughs> Who shall I refer to the woman you're on bad terms with then? Your cooking pot? <laughs> yes, that's good. But no, I don't have a pot or a mistress either. You have no wife, nor a mistress, nor some other little thing tucked under your bed, Chapuzin? I'm telling you the truth. The truth, yes. You will not pull the wool over my eyes, you devil. I know, I know the facts. Was she unfaithful to you? Your wife, your cooking pot? Am I getting warmer? What? In the name of God, what do you want me to say? Just answer me. You, you're speaking to me with, with the tongue of a, a deceiver. My God, I tell you. Yes, yes, no. No, 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 no. Chapuzo, a beer, please. A beer. Here, here. I have a question for you. Why did you throw a bottle of cassis at your wife's head? A, a bottle of cassis? Yes, answer! A, a bottle of cassis? What the devil? You don't want to say? A bottle of cassis, but I swear. Okay, okay. Are you lying to me? No. You're lying to me. Don't you lie. Don't you lie! Oh, don't lie! The lie! The lie you're telling me is wicked, and it is useless against the press. Ah, oh, yes, yes, do. Do you have a treaty of advertising with the movement? A what? A treaty, Chapuzo. A treaty? Yes, yes, a treaty. Everyone has one, Chapuzo. Banks, <laughs> lawyers, judges, litigants, nurses, doctors, painters, adulteresses, society women, couples, but not you. It is imprudent. Why don't you have a treaty? <laughs> Why do I need a treaty? Fine. Talk to Scott if you'd like. Answer why you threw the bottle of cassis! A bottle What do you mean? Why cassis? Why not curacao or some other liqueur? My god! My god! You are determined then to subvert this interview? <laughs> no! What do you want me to say? Anything! The truth! I am not accusing you of being a traitor, but there was premeditation in this. Was this... Tell me, tell me, was this maybe psychological? Or simply atavistic? At a what? Atavistic. Atavistic. My god. You don't know? You, 
You do not understand. Ha! Not a single scientific bone in your... The mental aptitude of a cockroach. Nonsense. Mm. Let, me, let me ask you these questions in a form more uh, achievable to your feeble little mind. <coughs> Two beards! You're here. Shafuzo, we, we shall toast. That's what I like. To your health. And yours. Shuffles all high. I am your friend. Please answer me as your friend. Sure, sure, sure. Are there a lot of murderers in your family? It begins again. Because if you haven't had a wife or mistress, you may still have a family. <coughs> you don't have a family. Bizarre, but possible after all. Poor Shuffles are left alone by his mother, abandoned. That so when you entered this world, your feeble little mind was instantly warped by the deplorable conditions of vagrancy. It would be an explanation, an excuse maybe. <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't want to answer? Fine, come sit with me. Come sit.